Hello, welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. Today is not the weekend, not quite yet. It's actually almost the weekend, but I'm going, I'm going to be kind of hard pressed over the next few days. So while I can, I'm going to just do do my quick draft, quick drafts right now. So nice. So let's give um, Ravnica Allegiance another shot. Magic saved up quite a bit, so now's a good time to cash in. Once in a while, I have to ch double check that. Th oh. So if you've seen my last episode, it was the, it's it's white. It was a white black deck. I was playing Settle Direct just because I needed another rat. There's that rat. Now, do I want to first pick this kind of card? Actually, yes. Just because the rats at four mana doesn't necessarily mean you want to play it at turn four. Actually, you might want to just wait it out a little bit. This one's actually quite great. So we're definitely going into some sort of Orzov. And and just like that, we got several interesting options. I'm more likely to take the Ministrant of Obligation because this is a nice and abler combo with Afterlife. Spar Mangler is also a, is a surpri nice surprise, surprise blocker though. It's... It's technically removal for up to 4 toughness. Basically, you can flash it in. It's only 3 mana, so it's actually quite interesting. And once in a while, you might... It might not just be for the flash, but with enough flyers... I guess I'll take the Ministrant first, but... Let's see if we can get some of those Spire Manglers back. And Okay, I guess we're really going all in on the white-black. Could use another Gate Colossus, though. But So I'm hoping to see these Impassioned Orators come back, but... Let's get... Let's go, um, or go Orzov. Go Orzov, go home. Probably want to get the guild gate back too. So what do I want on my bottom end? I don't want too many final payments. These can get awkward. I'll take the Plague White. So take note, this is only on when it's attacking. So we just have to remember that. Twilight Panther, likewise, same reason. I could take Debtor's Prison though. This is a good top end. I'll take the Twilight Panther first for now. Do I have to note that we probably shouldn't be val we should not be valuing early drops too much. We're trying to go for a later game. I'll take the Carrion Imp. Knight of the Last Breath. This is the kind of um end game I want. I will take that. So Sky Tether has Defender loses flying. I will take this one, I suppose. This is a very it's a very decent, it's not quite the motion, but it's quite good enough. I'll take the Orsov Locket. We are going to be quite late game. Uh, Viscova Vampire over consigned to the pit. Let's let's take a few of earlier creatures so that we're not too dependent. No, let's take consigned to the pit. Dead Rebels is also another way to get back. Ill got an inheritance. Um, they've been doing some talk. Um, there's been some talk about this. The consensus is good card, but probably should not have been common. Take the scrabbling claws. There's the debtor's prison. So we, so we have quite a bit of a top end. So we're going to focus on our bottom end now. Late brand might be interesting. So we got a lumbering bowman, So that's quite good. So it only exiles creatures we control, but so we want to exile things like Bell Haunt. Um, actually, that's it. That's the only one we have that has a uh, an ETB effect. But it's a good way to reset all those um creatures tied up with luminous bonds and sky tethers and whatnot. My other alternative is Vindictive Vampire. We're not. The life gain is helpful, but we're not quite life gain. I'll just take the rare. What? 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 Am, what am I kidding? What I will not take is bankrupt in blood. You get to draw three cards, but you're spending one card plus two other creatures you have. Granted, it's not necessarily yours, but it's quite expensive. Clear the stage. We do have a few big creatures, not that many though. Would I rather have that over fine? Would I think I would still take the clear the stage over final payment? It's worth a shot at least. We could splash get the point, but we are quite he heavy up here. I might willingly just take the Footlight Fiend, but 
Can I? Okay, let's take let's take the good boy. We want to have an early defense, and that's one way to get it. Under cities embrace in the better. Under cities embrace is pro probably another decent removal spell. I might prefer blade juggler over that one though. We're not that aggressive. We'll take under cities first. We'll take the Orzhov Guildgate over any of these guys, but because I we do need to have at least one, and I noticed that one didn't. Other one didn't come true. Blood Mist Infiltrator. Yeah, sure, why not? It's in the common, but I'm quite dubious if I'm gonna play it. I'll probably play the Viscopa Vampire now. I I think one uh, under City's embrace is good, two is too much. Noxious Grudion. Actually, it's between this and Concordia Pegasus. I'll take the Grudion. Dead Revels actually might might find a home here. So let's cut the infiltrator. Do I want a second Twilight Panther? Well I don't want the first bankrupt in blood at all. So yeah, let's take the Twilight Panther. Lactos Trumpeteer. Yeah, shh. Sideboard. We've not we've not gotten a re okay, I'll just take the bankrupt just to fill the space. Bunch already got four. Let's take the uncommon and the uh, uncommon and blade brand and font of agonies. Unfortunately, there isn't that many ways to, many ways to pay life. This is more of a modern plant. So another guild gate. Sentinel's mark is a good combat trick. Angelic exaltation. If we we could flood the board with creatures, then we can just attack with one at a time. I could just take the oligarch. Probably take the oligarch though. That's the easiest. That's the one I can easily wrap my head around. Exaltation's not bad as a combat trick. I'll take the oligarch. Spirit aspires. It's either this or bring to trial. Oh yeah, I said I wanted an orator. Nah, never mind. So, Spirit of the Spires, it's a flying 2 4. Kind of swamped with 4 drops and 5 and seven, 6 and 7. But I'll take the Spires anyway. It's probably one of the better 4 drops. I might just cut the Dead Revels. I'll take one final payment. We do need to have some sort of spot removal. Okay, Syndicate Messenger, Orzov Racketeers. It has Afterlife too, but it's quite expensive. But at this cost, it's unlikely to hit. It's unlikely to deal combat damage to a player. So it's really just a 3 2 4 5 that trades for 2 twos, 2 1 1 flyers. I'd ra I'll take the Syndicate Messenger instead. Again, take note we're kind of lo loaded for bear on the 3 and 4 slot. Uh, nah. We still have a reasonable playable in Noxious Rudion. That third one. Do I want that or the second? Uh, no, let's take the third one. So, probably cut the Sky Tether. I don't want the fourth one. I actually prefer a Plague White over that. Plague White or Oligarch? I'll take the Oligarch. Let's take the Guild Gate. We obviously definitely need that. Yeah, let's take the Sentinel Smart. Let's see if we can actually use it. Definitely want to keep the clear, clear the gauge, consign to the pit. Okay, debtor's transport starting to look like the weakest one, so I'm gonna cut that. Do I want to take another ill-gotten inheritance? No, I'll just finish up my cavalcade collection. Just the sure portal something. I'm gonna take the embrace just to have an option. <laughs> Dead rebels and no. Lockets and no. I'll take the. I'll take the cat and comb cro crocodile because I n never use it anywhere. Consigned to the pit. Yeah, I'll just keep it in the sideboard. Probably one is enough. Yep. Mm. Let's take. 
So those are our cards. Only need to make two cuts because we've been making a lot of preemptive cuts already. Let's do a quick check. It's quite possible we might actually that 17 lands might still not be enough. Let's so definitely want to cut two creatures at least. Or I could just cut the locket and one creature, but we want to hit four and five soon, so there's a good reason to keep the locket. Sentinel's mark is a very good way to be annoying and buy some time. I'll cut the resolute watchdog because I really don't want to sacrifice a good boy. Then let's see. Ill-gotten inheritance, I think one is enough. Clear the stage, consign, those are good. Embrace is good enough. I might just cut another creature. Spirit inspires. Let's cut the Twilight Panther. In fact, what if... Okay, hear me out because we... What if I cut both panthers and put in another and put in the other embrace? So, one that means no good boys, no good boys and cat kitties get in the get killed in the way. Two, it's a two. We pretty much consign ourselves to control, so we are not we don't get tempted by any by keeping some bad mulligans and whatnot. So, here we go. So. So this is the Ors of Long Game. We'll try to see if we can actually do that. See, that's our deck. So we're gonna take a quick break, then we're gonna start the games right after this. Okay, and we're back. So now we're ready to crack this open. Let's here we go. Oh yeah, while we, yeah, while we're figuring out what the, how the match is going. Anyone excited over the new... Okay, definitely... Scared to keep this one, but fine. Anyone excited over the new um, announcement over the new cosmetics? Basically, we're gonna get card sleeves, we're gonna get alternate art, we're gonna get all those good stuff. I'm not gonna p make a final payment on Ro Watchdog. So thankfully we drew our card. So Noxious Groove Gun runs over Watchdog any day. And worst case scenario, we just play the other one or the Ministrant. So I'm probably gonna try to avoid playing Ministrant. In the meantime, oh, opponents of Dant. This is gonna be interesting. So also digging for cards. No. Okay, finds a creature. It's Spirit of the Spires. So. so not just Rudian number two. Okay, we can just keep the beat down at least. The moment our opponent plays a creature that outclasses, we just trade with the Death Touch. So Griffin. Okay, that's fine. So we swing, we trade. He might actually sacrifice to save the Senate. So let's see. Oops. Yes, I know you have a locket. You could double block and just sacrifice the dog to save the. Oh no, he's just gonna sacrifice it. Okay, fine. Oh! And he's gonna sacrifice that to save this one. Hmm. Yeah, let's put a damper on that. Let's be a heartless. Guy. Basically, what happened is Good Boy's death was in vain. Sure, we paid a hefty price for that. He's now playing Spirit of the Spires. So if it gets blocked, it gets. It's only one until end of turn. So. So I'm gonna force trade. Or not. Could have played the ministrant, but let's um. Yeah, actually that's a mistake. I should have played the ministrant. 
Dovin secured the Azor opponent. It's a good, it's a huge load of doom. Okay. Hey, from a graveyard. Okay, so we can just get rid of the Senate Griffin or the good boy. I have a feeling I'm about to play Pious Red, so I'm gonna play Minister of Obligation first. If our opponent is amassing this much mana, four colors at that. Consigned to the kid. Kinda pricey, sure. I might be willing to swing with all just to keep getting the keep the damage train going. So I'm gonna That's true. Yeah, I'm gonna play the carrion in. Let's get rid of Senate Griffin. Let's let sleeping dogs alive. Yeah, this many colors, very weird and all that. Okay, not the best trade. Under cities embrace, target opponent sacrifices a creature. Yeah, let's go for that. Reason being, if he sacrifices the oligarch, the token will not trade. Ooh, he has to absorb. Okay. So he's willing to take damage. That's fine. Let's not play out our Viscopa Vampire. <laughs> Actually, we had an interesting combo. Lumbering Battlement, exile all these guys, turn afterwards Kaya's Rat, get all those guys back out. We don't get any ETB effects, but... Well, genius. Our opponent could easily just block... Yeah, he figured it out. Okay, he's gonna block that to avoid taking damage. Trade these off. I get two tokens, he gets one. But I start swinging with Grudion next turn. Interestingly enough, I could swing with everything. Okay, he's now cashing in for the cards. Curious what the outlier green is for. This is clearly an. It's clearly Esper based. It's starting to flood a bit, so that might be a problem for us. So he could just double block the Carrion Imp. Or not at all. Which is actually much better for me. I would. I'd rather he double block the carrion imp. He's got to have something really big if he's storing all this mana. Mortify. Okay. Get security back. Play security. Oh, so this is sort of long range control. So he gets to draw a card, gains two life, it's up to seven. I could hit him for six, but. Hmm, another one spirit of the spires. Play that office. Okay, so he's just literally taking one damage at a time. Does he have a buff? Oh, some sort of buff. Eight grand. Okay, so he takes out the carry and so that's one less removal spell for me to wait. Is it? Yeah, he drew a card. Yeah, that's one less removal spell for me to worry about. One's drawn quite a bit of cards between the locket and all the other things. I'll take the hit. 
Which means you're telegraphing that you have something big. Okay. okay. So play Syndicate Messenger. Unless he has yet another counter spell. No. So I'm just gonna keep the pressure up in the air. Star Mangler. Okay, so yeah, that was the trick I was talking about. So well, it's down to about 14 cards. This He doesn't have the counter spell, so I have him on the clock. I can literally just do nothing for about two turns. Showbringer attack. So he swings with Spire. Okay, he's gonna try to race me now. Gain the life. Play the Viscopa Vampire. So he has to either answer the inheritance or my creature board. No, he has to answer both. Okay. Yeah, wiped it all out. Kaya's Rat is not a turn for not a turn for card. I guess it's a turn for card if you're really in trouble, but thankfully it's not the case. Ooh, Savage Tom. Okay, let's see how many more games we can get up from this deck. I suppose I would hope I I guess I would rate this as a four to five game deck. The high the, the high end on the the high end on my spells is a bit scary for me. So plague white into obligation into carry an input. It's a keeper. And all the lands I can use. Generally the criteria for me for this kind of deck is at least a turn three into a turn four play. Well, having a turn to play is not so bad. One is leading in Simic and Gruel, so this could be a Gates deck. So, since we're the Afterlife deck, yeah, our only caveats we will get in trouble against things like Gatebreaker Ram and Gatebreaker Ram and whatnot. So let's hope we can put up enough early game aggression to make that meaning. Oh, counter spell? Punch. Ooh. Okay. To a skitter eel. So. He can block. Well, he's not blocking. So if he makes the payment, I just I make a payment too. You know, he's playing Mammoth Spider, so definitely gonna take that out instead. I hope he attacks first. Okay, he's not attacking. No, I'm paying the five life. Plus, Ministrant's valuable as a blocker. Okay. So, that should stifle our opponent a bit. Let's hope our opponent doesn't have another Mammoth Spider. I have a feeling the next few points of damage are going to come from Carrion Imp. Okay. Block it. Okay, we might... Well, not quite a lot, but good enough. So I'm gonna play the Grudion. He's got several gates. Gates of Blaze would be annoying at this point. So, well, at least we outclassed our opponent in this case. So we're doing quite well. Yeah, getting all these drafts in is quite fun. So, yep, keep them coming. Fast drafts, very good. I need to start having some decent catch raises as as the game's cool. 
I also need to start paying attention to if I'm running into the same people over and over. Okay, so Plague White into final payment. Okay, that's two things I can play. The scary part is... I need to draw two running lands just to get another play. Then three, then four. I might actually just mulligan this. Okay, this is better. I'll, this is better. And okay, that's better too. So since I, I'd rather have um guaranteed four lands. Ooh. So, scry tree at the beginning of your first upkeep. Okay, so there, guild page. So that's one card we want to hit with under city's embrace. Let's hope our opponent doesn't have a two drop tree drop running. Generally, in sets like. Um, that are multicolored like Ravnica, the games tend to be slower. Ooh, that's not a good sign. The one outlier was Gate Crash. That one was really. Between Gruel and Boros, the games were really fast. So, good news. Our opponent did not have the. Did not have the turn 3 play. No, he did not have a turn 2 play. He's gonna have a turn 3 play. So we we'll solve that. And we have to get rid of this one. So we play our own Spirit of the Spire. Now the reason we get rid of Send Courier is because we'd have to get rid of it first anyway. Because it swings with Foresight. And now I wish I started drawing things that are not land, but at least we got rid of two. At least we made good use of our early plays. Let's see. Well, there's no tanks, but... Yeah. Yeah, I acknowledge. Now, this is the part where things get bogged down. Thankfully, we got the new friends. Now, we're hoping to draw into our late game stuff. This is a bit... In in I don't suppose okay, the opponent has sent it here for me. I'm willing to trade these two. The opponent like what is this? Azorius is also probably the one other color that's very good at long games. Especially if you have cards like Golden Security. Does he have to quench? Essence capture. Oh man! That's a deal breaker. Why should I attack first? Yeah, losing the Basilica Belfast is really Okay, deploy is also just as annoying. At least we can block those. Opponent should start hitting us with Senate Griffin. We need to. I prefer to deal with these first. So question, do I send the Viscopa Vampire? I know it's gonna trade with one of these. Probably the answer is still yes. Because I need to get rid of all of these eventually, I might I might as well tra trade it while the opponent's willing to. Mm, no. Let me just bind it. So it can't block, so I'm gonna take 9 damage. Opponent still has something to play. Master's Admonition, return. Okay, so that's a nice. Might be a bad that might have been a bad play. Wait, lumbering balment. Hmm. I can't block all tree, that's the problem. Oh wait, I can block all tree. So first things first. 
It's slumbering battle in the spirit of the spire. Then make a final payment. Targeting the Senate Griffin. Sacrificing Knight of the Last Breath. So that that gives me the that gives me the tokens to stay alive. Okay, we might have an out. This is gonna be cutting it very close though. Playing Knight of the Last Breath again. No, I think that was still the correct one. It buys us a turn. Nope, good game. So two wins, one loss. Yeah, this was relatively close. Our opponent had a lot of removal. I guess that's the style you want to play in control. You don't want to have too many creatures. You just want to have more spells. We kind of did that. Let's see, is there any other spell I could have added? The con second consign. I'd want some things that give me life, not give me life though. Under City's embrace would have been okay. I guess this one's fine. Law mage, yeah, he had uh, had all the removal spells needed. We did see that one interesting line, but if it weren't for that meddling, you, you get the idea. So, is our opponent gonna? Is our opponent mulligan? Okay, so we got turn three play. This one's a bit. This one's horrendous, but I'm more willing to keep this one. You want to have enough mana for a turn tree play, though you kind of don't want too many blank cards. This, okay, opponent. Well, true to his name, takes a mulligan. Let's hope that the only mul. Well, for our opponent's sake, let's hope that's the only mulligan he needs to take. Okay, good for him. I hope this is not one of those um, stipulation accounts where I must mulligan every. So having all the control is good, but you want to still have some early aggression. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be sad. Let's. If our opponent blocks, he's gonna be in for a nasty surprise. Oh, he read the, he read the card. So I can still block. It'll still trade with Plague White. Ooh, opponent's currently mono black. Ha! <laughs> Got exactly the same thing. What gives? So I'm probably gonna just swing with boat. It's attacker's advantage. Okay, no blocks. Okay, we got our ill gotten inheritance, so. Swing with boat here. He's gonna trade those two off. I suppose that's fair. So let's start. So let's start setting back our opponent on life a bit. Especially since his next attack only puts us in parity. Yeah, he. You have to attack with Plague White. There's no point in leaving. Well, I suppose there's a point if you're trying to regularly block like some pleb. No, just kidding. Probably still play another Noxious Grudion. Really could use one more mana at least. The third stage would be great. Okay, so then it's got Spire Mangler, Flash Flying. So there's a 2 1 flyer I now have to worry about. I still think I can outpace our opponents. I still think I, we can outpace our opponent. I think our opponent is royally stuck.
Yeah, that's not not the greatest use. I think an oligarch. So yeah, we've ha we now have a decent cushion. Opponents probably gonna have to leave this back to block. Good news for us, we don't really have to attack. Oh, he's actually attacking. Our opponent is stuck on color. That's that's just it. Any moment now, our opponent's gonna draw the second colors, either black or red. Really, so we're really mo more of a four mana deck. Yeah, this. I might be speculating here, but I think our opponent. Our opponent named Mulligan needed to take another Mulligan. Not really. I sub. I, 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 I'm assuming quite reasonably our opponent probably had these three lands that are. You know, reasonably he had two lands. He just needed a third one. He needed a third and a fourth one. The black might have been his minor color, so. he The reasoning would be. I'm probably gonna draw into the other color soon. I guess, but sometimes that's how the, that, that's how luck goes. Now you know why dual lands are s not have such a high price on them. They either cost a lot money wise, or they cost a lot in that they set you back. A turn. So, turn three, turn three, turn four, good enough for me. Having guild gates a plus. Again, being not. Um, having the having this some um, set of color white white black black, not too important in the grand grand scheme of things this early, but it's still nice to have. Still much appreciated. At least we have a turn two play, so it's not too, we're not too embarrassed by this. Now if I see okay, thank goodness our opponent's not mono blue, otherwise I would throw in a fit. Or is the forcer. Still probably gonna throw a fit. Yeah, I'm so glad I got that turn two free at least. Turn two all the guard. I'm gonna keep staying with this with Granny forever. Yeah. Let's admit it, she's a She's kinda a granny. If our opponent swings with both, I would definitely block. This is that's probably the more reasonable one. So, let's see if our opponent trades. It's bound to trade at some point. It'd be nice if we traded the next turn I play Spirit of the Spires. But this is this is Undercity's blessing mana right here. He's also thinking this true, so he might just kill the creep. He might just cast the bless the blessing right now, force me to sack it. Okay, nope. So. Yeah, this is a big debate. Do you want to save this for the bigger creature that's inevitably gonna follow, or just make a trade now? Okay. Given this, I'm gonna play Minister of Obligation. will block Terramander. I try to block Terramander as soon as sure this is limited. Um it's still gonna probably be expensive to adapt, but let's not take it too much for granted. Noxious Brood and then final payment. That's what the whole thing is for. Opponent's hmm. still a long way off from turning this to, to a 5 5. No, yeah. 
given the way this card works, yeah. This is flying, still gives these guys good stuff. Exactly the trade I wanted it to make. Nice. Bad news is. Yeah, so I. Yeah, even exiling one creature is good enough. Now, opponent might still have another trick. Twilight Panther. Okay. So I. Well, there's my final payment target. I think they have the, those prompts now. It's very, it's very easy to read too much or read too too far ahead. Okay, he's gonna chuck one token. I'm gonna play the vampire first. To encourage our opponent to block, to use the Terramander to block the vampire. Someone's slightly behind. Could just be a mana issue si since I'm seeing one white, one blue. Could be a double blue spell. That'd be really annoying. Let's hold the Grudian back. Don't quite need it yet. If our opponent takes a discard spell, they're not playing something on the battlefield. Let's see, what's this big guy? What's this big boy that they're gonna play? Consigned to the pit. That was expected. But we get the Spirit of the Spires back. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, let's end the turn there. Opponent might be one mana short of Kaya's Wrath, but we have enough for lethal even with um So numbering battle might doing quite a good job. Okay. Two I think we're like three two wins away if I'm not I should pay more attention, but we still have a decent cushion. Two. Okay, so turn two, turn three, turn f not no turn four yet, but I get to go first. I get both my colors. Yeah. That was gonna be, I was gonna be slightly cross when if I when I didn't get the Guildgate turn one, but Guildgate turn two is not bad. No, 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 no. Um, the pack 2 guild gate, pack 3 guild gate, at least getting the guild gates during those times were quite good. Combine guild mage, I'll try to first to play. Hmm. I might just embrace it right now. Still cash out the final payment if I'm going to pay some. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, play Spirit of the Spire. Now, granted that this only really benefits us late game, but at least we have the option. Terramander. So, 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 
Seraphon can't be too much of a problem. It's really a bit far away. So first let's get rid of Yeah, submit. Let's double check yeah, from your graveyard to your hand, I had neither. So we're just gonna try to get the quick beats going because that was the card those were the cards we were dealt with. Skipper eel. I guess I'll play the Grudion and the Plague White. Just hit with Spirit. So our opponent is probably gonna just adapt this. Or not. I'm fine with that too, actually. Scope of Vampire. Yeah, this was. Yeah, I might be playing out a bit too much, but we're about to be slight. We're about to be outclassed soon. Our opponent is eventually going to draw out the lands he needs. Okay. Yeah, we'll let that resolve. We can still block with Noxious Grudion. Our opponent goes for the fight. Titanic Brawl. Uh, pay five life. Yeah, opponent spent everything too quickly. I'm now inclined to just send every everyone across the board now. Well, my opponent saved us the trouble. Yeah, we we kind of had our opponent slightly dead to our rights. Yeah, just blow blowing that combat out was a great big deal. So, two more wins. Surprisingly enough, for a deck that we named the long game, we've been winning kind of mid game. We, sure, we planned the deck around, yes, we need to survive long enough, so we need to trade, we need to remove, and all that. But once in a while, you get the good matchup. This is scary. Could this be Conley Woods? Well, turn two, turn well, not really turn two, but we do have a turn three play, so we, ex we get to hit four mana at least. Worst case scenario, okay, we get to hit five mana at least. Well, this is gonna be yeah, slightly underwhelming. I'm expecting yeah, very aggressive. We might be in trouble here. We'll We'll take one hit, then kill whatever comes out afterwards. Yeah. No, we'll just... No, we'll take the hit now. I don't... Why, why take the hit, you, you ask? Well, our opponent playing the creature this quickly instead of playing a land first, and it means our opponent doesn't have a tree drop. We might have time. We'll save that for later. So our opponent is stuck. Okay. We get to regain our life. Let's see if our opponent has the final payment. Carnival. Oh, that's worse. We don't get that. We don't get the full benefit. So I might have to... So if our, as long as our opponent's stuck, I might have to consign it later. He's gonna hold it back as... Oh no, he's gonna attack. No blocks. Turn. Let's, does our opponent have a way to save? Final K 
payment. Oh. Okay, that's one way to cash out. So we have one removal. Yeah, we have enough mana, so... Okay, he's finally got his colors. This is a sorcery, so we can just cash in right now. Hmm, no, she's screwed you on. So th the flood is gonna start, so we need to be great for any strength. We can ignore that. Do I wanna play that immediately, or do I wanna just. Huh? I'm not going to make the trade, I'm just going to keep hitting the Syndicate Messenger. So as long as we have ways to trade... Okay, Pwn starting to hit this mana now, so that might be interesting. Let me play Removal. Blood Mist Infiltrator. So there's my, there's my consigned target. Okay, hold that back, swing with this one. Let's take our time, we kind of have control. We're about to lose control. This is a yeah. This is a, okay. This is a bit of a long stretch. So no attacks. I just have to keep. I can buy some time with this, but if our opponent just has a hand of grasping trolls, we're really grasping as trolls here. So I think I, I can afford to with one hit. Desert's transport. So five, six, seven. Yeah. Going lands, not fun. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to sack the we're probably gonna have to sack the messenger now. Ooh, yeah, that's a good game. I think I could have drafted this one, but I never thought about it. But yeah, we our opponent caught up near the end. We we stumbled a little bit early, but not too bad. So yeah, five wins, so slightly better than what I thought we'd do. Let's, let's see if we let's see if we can make it or not. This is definitely not keepable. I can't cast and I can't even cast this one. So definitely this is better. We keep this. We have to keep the land. Let's hope our opponent's not too aggressive. So let's just play white first. Okay, this is bad color. Okay, we're getting all the lands now. That's not a good sign. Okay, growth spiral. Growth spiral. And now we're behind. Well, we do get one shot at whatever big thing they, they plop down. Syndicate messenger. Yeah. No, it's not great. I might just play the Viscopa vampire. Swing, force the trade, then place in my own syndicate messenger. That might be the better plan. Because unless our opponent has something in the ground. So 
Sentinel is more. It gives it. Okay. I guess you leave me no choice but to make the trade. So slightly embarrassing, but. At least we take out two cards for one. And we, well, it's like 2.5 for two, two cards. Not great though. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose this one if we keep drawing any more lands. Grasping Crawl. I, I don't think I saw any of these. I really could have used this. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one. For sure. Between getting behind and. Yeah, this is a four, another four color deck. We may sneak. So we need to draw removal. That's still something. So we we'll sack the gateway sneak. Or the grasping troll. Oh, he sacks the grasping troll. So, yeah, we keep keep this one around because our opponent wants to draw cards okay so can't be helped well at least we're taking only one damage to turn instead of three but we're gonna have our time catching up that's our second embrace oh that's our last embrace so exaltation Ooh. really bad yeah we're the like and this is like what <laughs> I'm really curious how many at what point how many gates do you draft at this point do you this one's literally six gates I need to read up on how to draft the gate okay we will take eight damage but no, we'll take six damage but still something Still can't attack. At least we get to. Tr well, we're gonna be really low on life. One is counting down. Gatebreak, Gatebreaker Colossus. No crying eyes. So I have to pay attention to this style. Basically, you're looking for very specific cards. You're looking for these payoffs. Cards that buy you a lot of time. Okay. Ooh, Blood Crypt. Summary Judgment. Okay. Two figures for nothing. Okay. Three, six, seven, four, five, six. That's seven gates. And we're taking as much damage as the. And we're not gonna win if we keep drawing lands. That's for sure. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's got about eight more lands. The odds of them being gates. I'm calling shenanigans at this point. Oh no. Yeah, this is a good gate. Okay, can't be blocked. Have to block with these two. It's, it's the only way I get to soak up damage. Wait, he's got a trick? Yeah. This one's unbelievable, but I have to hand it to him. And he had the gate colossus. That's all I got. You probably have more creatures in hand, so it doesn't matter that I sw swept the entire board. You probably still have about like what five more gates, ten more gates. Oh, I'm just oh grasping troll. Yeah, that's the real good game. But we did get <laughs> we did get a parting shot with Caius Rat, so not not too shabby. So all in all, not bad. Five wins, two five wins before we conked out. Let's claim our let's claim our solitary pack price. Actually, we got another pack from daily, so let's crack, weekly, so let's crack those two. Okay, Gatebreaker Ram to remind me of how I lost. Pestilent Spirit. 
I did have several of these. I probably should have built the Rakdos deck with this card in mind. And okay, wall of lost thoughts. You know, get the point. Not quite. Fix Madira. Yeah. I kinda wish I did not build the Rakdos deck yet, but I already built it, so that's how it goes. So that's it for this episode of the Magic Arena Run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on notifications and whatnot. So decent draft overall. That, that last deck was, well, for all intents and purposes, the nuts. We could have punished it if we had a more aggressive early game. We did not. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you guys again next time. And I really need to learn how to play that Gates deck.